Hello everybody, this is Mega Dilly Bar. Today we are back with FCW on TW2020. So we are about to start our show here. Um, but going into this, we have some signings. Uh, well, Devon, uh, sorry, Bubba Ray Dudley, Roderick Strong, Jim Cornette, Brian Kendrick, and Reed Flair. So we're going to sign these guys, and now we have all the people that we offered a contract to, except for Keith Lee and Sean Spears, and I just uh, offered Walter a contract, uh, or Walter, uh, so I'd be very excited to see him on the roster. Um, I'm just going to get a lot of people, um, you know, young people that can make an impact on the roster. Um, like I said in the last episode, they're not going to be there to make a massive impact. Um, they're just going to be there to boost boost the product, basically. Get people to come over and see us by having these very talented wrestlers, um, you know, being here. And then they give something else for the signed talent to work with. So, without further ado, we're going to get into booking the show. And we are in the next day. Uh, we have Nusser the next show, so don't... Don't let me fool you on that one. Um, but we had just got Keith Lee and Sean Spears to sign with us. So that is good. So now we are just waiting on Walter, um, who I just offered a contract to. So it's obviously not going to be right away. Um, Jim Cornette was hired by uh, Chikara, which that would definitely not happen in real life. So while I was simming through the days, um, we got some sad news that Loki is being brought up to the main roster. Um, while we're starting now, I feel like that's going to happen quite a bit, where some of the bigger stars are going to be pulled in, um, which, you know, is not a big deal, um, uh, especially with Loki, because I never, I, I, didn't, I never used him yet, uh, so I'm honestly just probably not going to, um, I might use him to put someone over, uh, I'm definitely going to use him to put someone over, um, but... Uh, that's just one guy we're not going to get to work with, which is, you know, it's, it's pretty sad, but um, and that's how it is with this. Uh, so we are going to be booking the show, though. Um, for now on, I'm not going to be booking with you guys, um, so you guys get to experience the shows. Um, you know, get to, get to experience the shows like you're watching them, but really you're just seeing what I book. Um, but, you know... You don't need to hear me talk that much. I already talked too much. So, I'll see you guys at the end of the show. So, we're starting off the pre-show with a bout that had fantastic heat and good wrestling. Um, it was Kurt Hawkins and Roderick Strong, and I'm really happy how this turned out. Um, I mean, uh, you know, the ratings speak for themselves. I'm sad this wasn't in the, in the actual show. Um... But Kurt Hawkins had a performance of 44, and Roderick Strong had a performance of 48. Uh, Kurt, Kurt Hawkins winning um, over Roderick Strong. Um, and then another pre, pre-show match, uh, we had Tyler Black defeat Michael Tarver. Uh, Michael Tarver is someone that's rated as a major star, but I don't know what to do with him. And Tyler Black defeated him. Um, and, you know, Tyler Black at 53. Michael Tarver with a 35. I'm going to rebrand uh, Tyler Black to be Seth Rollins. Um, I forgot to do that, uh, but it will. I will change that. Um, but yeah, that was a good match as well. Uh, good heat and good wrestling. So um, the next match uh, in the pre-show as well, uh, Finn Balor defeated Loki. Um, Finn Balor with only 31. Uh, Loki kind of carried that one, but this is what I want. Um the stars I want to put over um, gonna feed them to gonna kind of feed them to Loki for a little bit uh, until Loki is gone um, but yeah so it a, puts Finn Balor in a great match um, and then the show starts um, Brother Love uh, is interviewing Wade Barrett and he asks what his ambition was for you know uh, inter- Interfering in the match uh, between Daniel Bryan and uh, Grandmaster Sexy, and Wade Barrett just looks at him and asks him and says, "Don't ask stupid questions," you know. And then he walks off. Um, and Brother Love's just standing there, confused. Uh, 
nobody knows the ambition of Wade Barrett. No one knows why he did it. He just he just was there to bother Daniel Bryan, and no one knows why. Um, maybe we'll find out in later episodes. Um, and then the next match, um, an exceptional match. Team 3D defeated the Young Bucks when Bubba Dudley pinned uh, Nick Jackson after Unit 4 and Objects. So the du- so the Dudley boys debut, and they cheated in the first match against the also debuting Young Bucks. Um, everyone had a pretty good rating over here. In this match, uh, Matt Jackson had the lowest performance, which was a 49, which is still pretty good. Um, Matt Jackson also, his gimmick didn't turn out well, whereas Nick, with the same gimmick, did really good. So that's unfortunate. Nick Jackson and Devon Dudley were off their game. Um, And then Brother Love is back, uh, you know, uh, talking to... Alberto Del Rio uh, and Alberto Del Rio says that he doesn't um, says that the only reason that he helped Justin Gabriel uh, last week again uh, from that beatdown um, was because he wants that championship and he wants him all to himself um, and he challenges Justin Gabriel to the for the championship next week, and Justin Justin Gabriel agrees to that championship match. Um, and Alberto Del Rio becomes a heel, and didn't go down too well. Uh, that's all right. I just want to get him heel um, for that match next week. Um, and in the next match, uh, decent reaction from the crowd. But Sapar Wrestling, the Usos defeated the Dude Busters. In 10 minutes, uh, when Jey Uso pinned Clayton Croft with the Alley Us, uh, the Usos win the Florida Tag Team titles. Um, tag Team Division is pretty weak at the moment. Um, I'm trying to get these homegrown stars uh, with the titles, but it's not going so well. Um, I guess Kalen Croft and Trent Beretta performed a lot better, um, but the Usos are definitely more over. Um, so I thought it was necessary to give them the titles. Um, definitely going to be booking some good matches with the Usos, though. Um, i got plenty of things planned for them. I'm going to try to build this tag team division up so we can get some good tag teams um, here. Um, and hopefully the Usos will grow here um, as well since they are definitely the big tag. They're going to be the tag team of the future here in the company. Um, and the next match... Uh, the main event, uh, the Brian Kendrick debuts and defeats Daniel Bryan um, with slice bread number two, uh, and Wade Barrett interferes with this match. Um, and in this in this match, uh, Brian Kendrick he debuts with the also debuting uh, Jim Cornette, who debuted his annoying gimmick but got a rating of awful. I need to go through and fix a lot of these gimmicks. Um, you know, all these these are just all default gimmicks, and none of them are going too well. But Jim Cornette did do some good work at ringside. The match got the crowd buzzing, and the commentary gave the crowd gave the match a boost. So that's very good to see, and it was a very good match to end the show. Um, how was the show? I don't I don't think it's gonna show me the rating. I think it's just gonna go to the next day which i don't know why that yeah i don't know why that just happened but if we go here uh show history uh we have 42 overall um how was last week so the last one was 34 so we definitely improved uh so, so what the problem is angles you know the angles didn't go too well um it was one of the 30s uh you know, the tag team match, you know, didn't perform too well, which, you know, was expected. Um, like I said, the tag team division's not great. The pre-show, the pre-show killed it. Um, and I know Tyler Black and Michael Tarver were both uh, both considered main eventers uh, in the game. Um, same with Finn Balor. Well, same with Loki, uh, but Finn Balor wasn't. Um, so... You know, these guys are all good performers. It's just getting them into the position that they need. Um, so, you know, these guys will be on the card very soon. I'm just testing people out in the in the pre-show, whereas in the uh, main show is definitely going to be for the people that we've seen 
that we know are going to be good. Um, Usos, you know, the tag team there because we need, I wanted to give the tag belts to the Usos. So, uh, and since it's a title match, it has to be in the, uh, in the main show. But um, I'm really happy to see uh, Team 3D here in the Young Bucks. Um, got big things for both of them and big things for these men in the pre-show and i'm very excited for next week's show because it's going to be it's going to be a fairly big one um i'm going to try to get some titles on the line like the the main one uh maybe the usos will defend theirs uh so we will see what happens um yeah that's gonna be it for the episode guys uh check this out uh nothing too bad um I'm glad I didn't end the episode. Daniel Bryan has a month. And I was just about, I was worried about it, but I didn't say anything because I didn't want to jinx it. But this is what I'm talking about, that a lot of people I think are going to go right away, and Daniel Bryan will be one of them. Um, I mean, we have him for a while. But the plan for Daniel Bryan to be the champion is not going to happen. Which is very, very, very unfortunate. I'm going to have to figure something else out for the championship. But as of now, Alberto Del Rio is staying. So the title might stay on him for a while. I'm praying that he stays. I know I didn't want Alberto Del Rio, but he is a cha- he is the champion. And I mean, he will be the champion, I should say. And I hope that he stays. Um Yeah, and and I'm also gonna say this since I'm saying uh, since I'm saying Alberto Del Rio is gonna be the champion. I'm not always gonna I'm gonna try to kind of stay away from um, spoiling the, what the matches are gonna be. Um, I'm gonna kind of have that be you guys get to see see the results um, as the sh- as the game gets the results. Um, you know, like like you are watching the shows. Uh, just the early things are going to be me kind of planning things out and kind of speaking out loud to you guys. Um, this won't happen very often. Um, pretty much my plans for Alberto Del Rio and Daniel Bryan and Justin Gabriel were all I was saying, but all of those things are not happening. So, so there's that. Um, and also the Bright House Sports Network is still unhappy. I'm very scared we're going to lose our show. Um, I might see if I can start looking at other broadcasters before we lose Bright House Sports Network because I don't want to lose a broadcaster. And once you lose a broadcaster in this game, you they like you cannot get another broadcaster for a while. So I want to make sure that I get a broadcaster before I lose one. Um, but yeah, that guys, this is actually going to be it for the episode. Um, I will see you guys next next time. See ya.